there are many ways to build a website. The traditional ways with sections and columns, like what we do with Elementor. And then there's the fact that if you want to have more columns within columns, you might use inner sections now. Inner sections isn't always a great thing because we hear about, you know, the amount of DOM that's being rendered and the amount of code. So that's the traditional way, section and columns. There's also section and columns with custom widths. What I mean by that is you can achieve a lot with custom widths within just one section and one column. You can get a lot more items in than what we are traditionally used to doing because we always go, oh, you need to have three items so you can have three columns maybe side by side. You can actually do quite a lot with custom widths. And then we have the new way. We don't have the final version at the time of recording this with flex containers. And I surely hope that we're on the finishing line to getting the final version very soon. But three ways, section columns and inner sections. The same thing again, but this time just one column and no inner section, and then flex container. Now what I've done is I've done a hero banner, and I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, in fact, it's not just a hero banner. It is um, a header and a hero banner, and I've done it three times. I've done it three different ways, and then I've tested it on a page speed insight as well. Please don't get me wrong, it's not all about the speed of the website and the score, but I just wanted to show you, is there a massive difference in what we get? This is the traditional way of doing things. And I hope these borders that I've placed on purpose make clear how this is built. So this is your traditional section columns with inner sections. We have a header that is overlapping onto a hero banner section. This uh, header, or yet yeah, header, has two columns. We have a title over here, which could also be a logo or an image. And then over in the second column, and you can see the outline where it starts, we have a navigation menu, okay? Then we have the hero banner. We have column one with some items and a divider and words. And then we have column two with an image. So two columns going on here, right? Two in the header, two in the section. Now, can you see over here, we have two buttons. To get these buttons to sit side by side, I've used the old method of putting in an inner section, okay? So inner section, two buttons. Does that make clear what we've got? Header with two columns, hero banner with two columns, and an inner section to get two buttons side by side. I then did a copy of this, well, a completely new page, by the way, and tried to get it look as similar as possible, but this time the header is one column. One column is all you need. What I apply now is all of these items now have some custom width applied. So normally they're set to like default, but this time all of them have some custom width. Not all of them, by the way, only where needed. The beauty about doing this is that we have a header with one column. If I now click on the header, can you see over here the horizontal align is set to space between? Whereas if you did start, they'd all be over there. If you go to end, they'd all be going over that way. But I've got space between. But the idea is that with one column and you put your items in and you set them to be a custom width, like what we've done here. Look, let me click the logo or the title or whatever you want to call it. It is set to custom width. That is basically like doing an inline, right? One column. The hero banner is one column, right? We got all these items. Look, everything here, even this image, is all sat within one column. How amazing is that? We've gone from having two columns and an inner section to literally one column. Now let's go to the flex container. Don't mind the fact that the image isn't, you know, everything isn't the same exact perfect size. Excuse that, but it's the same kind of concept. The flex container is one container for the header, right? Just one container, and again, space between the way you align it. This entire hero banner is one container. It is not a container within a container. It is one container built from scratch. I did not take this one and convert it. No, this is from scratch, right? So all of your items, custom width again, everything is in one container. Now, what does that do to the page speed score? So let's remind ourselves what we got. Section and columns within a section, one column for the header and one column for the hero banner, and then we got flex container, okay? So you can see the wording up here, what we've got, right? Now, let's look at the page speed score. The first one, section and columns. I'm not doing mobile, by the way, okay? This is just desktop. 
There is no optimization at all on this website. No auto optimize, no asset cleanup, nothing. The only thing I have done is ensure that all this image is a WebP image and I have already custom loaded the font, which I think was Railway at the time. No, it wasn't. It was Montserrat. This was Montserrat font, okay? So I've preloaded that and that is it. So let's just look at the score for the desktop. 84 performance, okay? There is always going to be a little bit of lag or render blocking or whatever like that, okay? But with no other optimization applied, 84 for the section column and the inner section. Here's the score when I do the same kind of build and I ran these at the same time. I will give or take one or two percent difference, right? Here's the score now with one column. So I've get, I'm getting rid of the inner sections, right? 83. Okay, we had 84 and now we're on 83. I will excuse the fact it is like 1% worse than the other one. It's still relatively the same. So where I was sort of going, wow, by getting rid of the inner section over here and the extra columns, this should have a big impact. In actual fact, there wasn't that much difference. 1%, nah, you can, you can let that go. It's practically the same. What happens when we go to flex container? We've had 84, then we had 83, and the flex container, 86. Now, don't be swayed by this. Don't sit there going, wow, it's gone up. No, I ran this several times. The scores were all for all three of them kept jumping between 83, 84, 85, 86. All of them were kind of either bang on the same or a bit up and down. And in some case, and in one instance, this one here with the section column and the inner section scored higher than the flex container. And I was like, huh? That doesn't make sense. How can that happen? But what I'm trying to get across to you is that surprisingly, there wasn't that much difference. Now, if I was to build more on the page and I had a bit more motion animation and maybe I had a slideshow in maybe, what would happen? And I will plan to do that in a future video where I'll revisit this and just see where we go. But I just wanted to illustrate how there's three different ways you can build roughly the same kind of layout with flex container or with custom widths, or you can just do your traditional section columns and intersections. But the scoring was pretty much the same there. Probably the weirdest video I've done ever, but I just wanted to get that across to you. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Love to see your comments, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bat.